Did you know there are over 165,000 known species of moths and butterflies fluttering across our planet? But out of all those shimmering wings and delicate patterns, only about 150 caterpillar species worldwide pack a truly nasty surprise. Stinging hairs that can leave you itching, sneezing, or even gasping for breath. Now, if you're in the US or Canada, the odds are a bit better. Just around 50 species to watch out for. These sneaky critters belong to a handful of moth families, with one of the most notorious being the oak processionary caterpillar. Imagine a fuzzy, grey bug with a dark head and long white hairs, all marching in a single file parade up the trunk of an oak tree. That's them. But here's the twist. Those long hairs aren't the problem. It's the tiny, almost invisible stinging hairs, loaded with an irritating protein called thaumetapoin, that you really need to worry about. These barbed setae break off, drift through the air, and can cause a full-on attack. Media Group Person scratching arm with rash, child with skin irritation outdoors, pet sniffing caterpillar on ground, person rubbing eyes outdoors, person using inhaler outside, a stalker distribute an equally severe itching, rashes, eye pain, breathing difficulties, and, worst of all, dangerous reactions in pets who might sniff or lick where these caterpillars have been. Their favorite hangout? Communal, silky nests on oak trunks and branches, not the leaves like you might expect. You'll spot them in late spring and early summer, feeding by night and hiding by day, before transforming into rather unremarkable brown moths. If you see one of these caterpillar conga lines, don't get curious, get cautious. Never touch the caterpillars or their nests, and keep kids and pets far away. If you do get exposed, wash up straight away, clean your clothes and call your doctor, or your vet, if it's your furry friend in trouble. And remember, the hairs can stay dangerous for years, even after the caterpillars are long gone. If you spot them, let the professionals handle it and help protect our wild spaces and ourselves from this hidden hazard.